Usain Bolt is fast, Lightning McQueen is very fast, and CSGO Fast is also fast. <laughs> CSGO Fast is doing a giveaway of $60. All what you need to do is to copy last part of your referral link on their site and write it down in the comments. I will randomly choose three winners before releasing the next video. CSGO Fast. Faster than very fast. <laughs> This video that I prepared for you is something special. This something is experience that I was getting for almost 21 years of my life and these type of videos are not typical for this channel. If you're not mature enough and not ready to work on your character, please close this video and don't spend your time. Get back to playing Roblox. But for those of you whose mind and heart are open for knowledge, continue watching because you are really welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my personal experience on how to avoid tilting, raging and being aggressive towards your teammates and most importantly, yourself. Five years ago, when I was around 16, my toxicity was beyond any limits. If you would take old Simples character and multiply it by 5, that would have been something like me. It was not winnable from when we started oh, fucking around from the Shut the f*** up! <laughs> you never f*** around, you play till the end, you never make your f***ing jokes again. If I hear anything except information ever again, I'll f***ing kick you. I truly started thinking about changing my mentality when I was around 18 years old. At that time I have already broken two monitors and one glass table because of uncontrolled aggression. I was raging so hard that I still remember that moment when my neighbors called police because I was screaming and swearing so loud that they thought someone's getting killed. After getting kicked from another CSGO team, I always asked people to give me some sort of recommendation, since I always wanted to improve and usually it was something like, really decent player, hard worker, but super toxic, can't handle emotions and can't communicate. You guys can't even imagine how changing your mentality and mindset could affect your game. If you have ever watched a movie called Never Back Down, you know a saying, an angry mind is a narrow mind. And first step that you have to take if you want to get rid of raging and tilting is to accept the fact that you're a toxic bitch. In my opinion, it's one of the most important and difficult steps that many people can't make since their arrogance usually blinds them. Whenever you're angry, you're only thinking about what you could do to somebody and you're not thinking about what can happen to you and that's what a lot of people don't understand. Second step that I want you to take on the way to staying calm is to analyze yourself. Have you ever had this moment when you're getting killed or you fail at something and you automatically start raging? It happened to me many times, I was so toxic in the past that whenever something bad in the game happened, my mind made a reflex to instantly react this way. How did I get rid of it? Well, that's pretty interesting story. I was watching a video about mental illnesses and one doctor said that if you don't control your actions and you you don't control how you react to certain things, that's the first sign you might be mentally ill. I was very scared and after that I started paying way more attention to how I react to certain things. Step 3 that you have to take will not be about you, it will be about others, all these people that you annoy with your toxic behavior. Do you know what empathy is? Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. Now, did you know that aggression is contagious? I've seen examples myself. I once was playing with a guy who said he has a lot of in-game leading experience. He said that he never rages, tilts and always hypes up his teammates in any situation. Back in the days, I still was a toxic bitch by the way. And after playing for three days in a row with me, he started tilting, being nervous and his behavior changed a lot because for all of these three days, I was loading my toxicity into his mind. When you rage, especially if you flame others, you basically reset their mindset with anger, so there is a big chance that your tilt, which already makes you change your playstyle in a bad way, will affect their game too. A moment of patience in a moment of anger prevents thousands moments of regret. A fool vents all of his anger, but a wise man brings himself under control. An angry person stirs up a fight, and a hothead does much wrong. Step number 4. By our nature, some people are more and some are less emotional. This part of our character is formed during our formation as a person. What I've learned is that people who are cheerful, extremely positive and sanguine could be complete opposite. What I'm trying to say is that the more bright emotions person has, the more potential dark could hide inside of him. Since our brain is usually a perfected mechanism, all of our emotions are balanced, so the ones who rejoice more will usually 
usually be more sad if something bad happens. Same goes for anger and happiness. Learn to understand which people to play with, since their aggression could affect you and we don't want that. And same goes for positive emotions. You guys can't even imagine how many games I lost because of people stopped taking the game seriously and started having fun for no reason. So in this step I need you to understand that fun blinds you as much as anger. Step number 5 is an ultimate step to instantly stop all emotions to affect your game. This requires a lot of self-control and let me tell you a story before that. As you might know, I've been trying to build or join a team for almost 4 years. Every single time it failed and not a single time a team lasted more than 1 month. I've tried everything, building teams myself, joining organizations and whenever I tried the story repeated itself. Since I have really high passion for this game, every time I failed with team attempts, it did hurt me really hard. But as we all know, nothing is eternal. Recently, after failing my last team attempt, I came to the realization that I don't care. I stopped caring about this game. When I play against 3000 ELO Premade, all the fear and uncertainty has just left me. My playstyle became cold blooded and precise. And whenever I get one tapped me there through the smoke through the wall, I just say the info and that's it. There is a saying a man truly becomes free when he rejects everything. I need to give one more example to make things clear. I recently played a game with Neo on Face It, nothing special, just around 2700 average ELO game and we were free man Q. And our third premate had an unlucky game, so for some reason he decided to start having fun and throwing a bit. After that in Discord I told him that he shouldn't do that with raised voice, because sometimes you need to make things clear. I was not angry or mad at him, I just can't allow those type of behavior, especially if I'm trying my ass off to win the game. He started playing with concentration and we won the game, so guys don't confuse anger with raising voice, because some people only start taking you serious when you show them how bad do you want this. Now if you have a toxic friend or any person who in your opinion needs to watch this video, please make sure to send it to him, let's make gaming community a bit more grown and mature. It was not easy making this video because I basically told you a lot about my past and my toxic character, but I hope you understand that it's all left in the past and I'm trying my best to improve. I really appreciate you watching, comment down below what thoughts do you have in mind after watching this and if you enjoyed I would appreciate if you leave a like. God bless every single one of you, I'm out.